Simon says everyone touch their nose. Hurry, everyone touch their nose. Everyone touch their head. Hurry up, everyone touch their head. No, they didn't say Simon says. Simon says rip your test paper in half. Brianna, why did you rip your test? You won't be given another one. That's okay. I go to Simon Says. Simon Says, everyone stand still. Everyone start walking. Don't move, they didn't say Simon Says. Simon Says, start moving. These Simon Says are getting worse and worse. I go to Simon Says to break up with my boyfriend. That's awful. Simon Says, kill your best friend. Your name is Simon? Are you the one running Simon Says? I'm one of many. There's one of us in every school, every workplace, but you can't tell anyone about this. Why are you telling me all this? Because I think you're cute, and I'd like to be in a relationship with you. Okay. Let's be in a relationship then. Great. Mom, I'm home. I had a really rough day. What are you doing? Put the gun away from your head. Simon Says, let her do it. I got a Simon Says to kill you, but I can't do it. I have to off myself instead. Mom! Simon, did you tell my mom to kill me? Simon Says, don't reveal his identity. I only did it because I knew she wouldn't hurt you and would end up offing herself instead. What are you doing? Simon Says, go to hell. Simon Says, kill your best friend. What are you doing? God, as Simon says, I have no choice. I have to kill you. I got the same one. Look, we can find a way out of this. How can we get out of this? There is no way out. Simon says, don't blink. Oh no, I'm gonna blink. Simon says, once someone blinks, everyone will be able to blink again. Hey! No, please don't. She snapped fingers in my face. She cheated. I can't. I can't do this anymore. What's wrong? I don't even know who I am anymore. First, I kill my best friend. Then, I make someone lose and Simon says it. You're not a bad person. You can't blame yourself for what the game makes you do. You're nice. What's your name? It's Simon. Simon says, you are now Simon. I'm one of the controllers of the game now. All right, everyone, it's time to write the exam. Oh no, I forgot we had an exam today. Simon says, cancel the exam. Uh oh, everyone, the exam's canceled today. Thank goodness the exam was canceled. I didn't study. One second. Kevin's coming. Hey, Bri. Hi, Kevin. Simon says compliment her dress. Well, Simon says, that's a really nice dress. Thanks. I got it from Valara. It's beautiful. Simon says ask her out on a date. Another Simon says, will you go on a date with me? Of course. I'd love to. Hello. Who are you? I'm the creator of Simon Says. It's time. Time? It's time for you to kill someone. I know who you are. You're one of the controllers of Simon Says. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you really are clueless, aren't you? I saw it sticking out of your pocket when you came to pick me up for our date. I assumed you weren't just happy to see me. When did you take the bullets out? When I gave you that big, long hug when you greeted me. How didn't I notice? Simon Says leave this town and never show your face here again. Uh, I gotta get out of here. Hi, young lady. Where are you walking all alone at night? Simon says, so your mouth shut. No, I got a Simon says, I, I can't. Grandma, I'm home. I'm so proud of how tough you've become. I kind of like being Simon nowadays. But from now on, I want to be in charge. You'd really kill your own father? Okay, what do you choose? Uh, I choose snow, because I want to be just like mommy. Aw, good choice, honey. Don't you worry, I'll teach you how to use your powers. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. Alicia, meet your new stepmom, Greta. What a pleasure it is to meet- Oh! My hand! I'm so sorry, I- I didn't mean to. My hand, it's blue! Go to your room. Is she going to be okay? She has frostbite, but it's mild. Are those the gloves I gave you? Good. Keep them on until you can get your powers under control. Darling, 
She could have killed me. I am so sorry. Her powers, they've been going haywire ever since her mother passed. Well, she is a danger to all of us. She should be locked in that room. No, I couldn't do that to her. Don't you care about me? Greta, of course I do. Then it's settled. She won't ever leave that room. Here's your breakfast, princess. Oh, thank you. <gasps> you took off your gloves? Uh, yeah, just for a second, though. Oh my gosh. Uh, stay back. I'm gonna leave the food right here. Wait. Hey, Alicia, can I come in? I don't know. Can you? Because it doesn't seem like anyone else is allowed in here. I'm sorry, but I can't have you hurting people with your powers. I won't. I can control them now. Okay, then. Make a single snowflake. Just one? Uh-huh. Like how your mother used to. See? It's all right. You can't do it. But I can learn. I know you will. But until then, you have to stay in here. Dad, please. Put your gloves back on, all right? I'll be back to check on you later. If no one's even allowed near me, what's the point of wearing these anyways? I have to get out of here. Here's your lunch, princess. <gasps> hey! Guards, stop her! She froze my feet to the floor! Put your gloves back on, princess. So you guys can keep me locked in here? I don't think so. Ugh. Ooh. Hey! Stop her! I made it. I'm... I'm free. But where will I go? Mom always said that I could create anything that I imagined, so why don't I just make a place for myself to live? Stop it. You got this. It's working! Whoa, I can't believe I made this place. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but it'll do. I just feel like I'm gonna get a little bit lonely in here, so maybe I can make myself some sort of a pet. I've always wanted a dog. Oh, I think I'll call you Snowball. Well, well. Greta, what are you doing here? I'm here to bring you home. This is my home now. I think it's time I showed you my little secret. You have powers? Yes, I was a princess after all. Guess which one I chose? Why don't I just show you? you hey, Mommy. Can I ride the bus to school with my friends? No, honey, I'll walk you. Okay. Hey, Mom. Can I go to the mall with Jessica? Her mom's taking us. You can go, but I'm driving you. Okay, yeah. That's fine. Hey mom, there's this school trip. Can I go? How long is the drive? About three hours. No, sorry, you can't go. Okay. Hey mom, I'm finally 16. Can I please learn how to drive? No. But both my sisters got to learn at my age. I said no. This is not fair. Hey girl, are you coming with us to Jackson's party tonight? I would love to, but I can. Ugh, is this about the whole driving thing? I'll take you. I have my license. You know what? Yeah. Pick me up at seven. I'll follow you into the park, through the jungle, through the dark. Girl, I've never loved one like you. Boats and boats and waterfalls, alleyways and payphone calls. I've been everywhere with you. That's true. We laugh until we think we'll die Barefoot on a summer night Nothing new is sweeter than I'm with you And in the streets you're running free Like it's only you and me Jeez, you're something to see Oh, home Let me come home Home is wherever I'm with you Oh, home Let me come home You can only say yes. Yes. Sweetie, does this dress make me look fat? Yes. You really think that? Yes. You're such a disappointment. Do you know that? Yes. Giselle, will you do today's homework for me? Yes. Really? I wasn't expecting you to say yes. Will you do the whole week's homework for me? Yes. Oh my gosh, thanks. You're the best. Yes. Class, today we're doing a pop quiz. Yes. Giselle, you seem really excited about the quiz. 
Yes. Should we throw in a surprise presentation too? She better say no. If she says yes, she's done. Yes. Hey, babe, I think we should break up. Yes. Wait, so you want to break up too? Yes. You're cheating on me, aren't you? Yes. You can only say no. No. Honey, do you want some breakfast? No. But it's your favorite chocolate chip pancakes. No. Are you okay? Should I call a doctor? No. Giselle, did you finish the assignment? No. Are you planning to finish it? No. And you just earned yourself detention? No. That's it. Go to the principal's office. Giselle, do you have a date to prom yet? No. I heard Chad's gonna ask you. No! But I thought you were in love with Chad. <gasps> Giselle, he's coming! No, 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 no! Hey, Giselle. Will you go to prom with me? No. Is that a yes or a no? No! Whatever, I'm out of here. No. I got a nose bleed. Why is it blue? Oh no, you're one of them. Leave immediately. But why? Leave! But mom! It's spreading! Emily, I'm so scared my blood is blue and it's spreading and I don't know what to do. You're one of them. Stay away from me! I'm so scared. Does anyone know what's happening to me? Teacher, teacher, her blood is blue. She's transforming. Stay right there. I'm calling the police. No, no, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. It won't stop spreading. There she is. We found her. Get her. No. What is happening to me? Hello, dear. Don't be alarmed. I'm one of you. What's happening to me? Why am I turning blue? You're transforming. But don't be afraid. We are able to cover it up and live as normal functioning members of society. There, it's covered up. But may I ask what exactly I'm transforming into? You are one of the few chosen to transform in a rare breed of superhuman. Superhuman? But I don't understand. Why are people afraid of us? Where did she go? I haven't seen you before. Are you new? Yeah, I just transferred here. You should totally come have lunch with us. Yeah, I'd love to. Mm, it's so good. I love chocolate. You have something above your lip. Oh, let me get that. Your skin, it's blue. Do you know what time it is? You're an hour late for school. Look, I know, it's just... What's this? It's okay, honey. Just take your time and go to school now, okay? Uh, okay. Oh, I can't be let have a test. Hey, watch it. I'm so sorry. You are a pathetic excuse for a human being. Actually, you know what? It's kind of my fault. You were in a rush and I was in your way. I'm so sorry about that. This is so weird. Look, I'm so sorry I'm late. I... Due to your lateness, you will not be permitted to write the test. You know what? I don't usually do this, but I'll let you write the test. Yes. Whatever this thing is, I'm loving it. Hey, Jake. How was the test? Eh, not good. I probably failed. Really? Yeah. You look very beautiful today. I... I do? You do. Anyways, I'll see you around. Wait! What did you need to tell me? One moment. I just need to call my girlfriend real quick. It's really important. Yeah, of course. Go ahead. I can't believe he broke up with me. He did? I mean, he did? Yeah, he did. But he's a jerk. I should just move on. Yeah, good idea. Hey, I heard about your breakup. I'm so sorry. That's okay. We needed to finally end it. Why would it say that? Say what? Hey, did you by chance want to go on a date with me later tonight? Yeah, of course. This restaurant is amazing. I know, it's the best in town. Why is that an option again? Do you think I could maybe give you a kiss? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Our date last night was amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was... I have to go. What? Why? I'm sorry. Hey, are you okay? You left in such a hurry. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Again? There's no other options? What are you talking about? Just stay away from me. Why are you avoiding me? I want to break up. We're breaking up, so just leave me alone, okay? Wait. 
Are you okay? You seem really nervous today. Hey, look, I'm sorry about what happened with you and Jake, okay? It's my fault you broke up. What? I have this thing where I can decide actions people make, and I, I chose for you guys to break up, and now it's... It's giving me the worst options ever. I'm so sorry. I think you should go home and rest. Vandaag gaan een goeie dag wees. Wacht. Hoe kom praat ek hier die vreemde tol? Mama? Mama, asseblief help. Ek praat hier die vreemde tol en ek weet nie hoe kom nie. Honey, that's your soulmate's language. My silsgenootse tol? Yes, and you'll only be able to speak English again once you meet him. Wonderlik. Ek is geskroef. Hey Giselle. Goeiemorgen Jessica. Why are you speaking Afrikaans? Dis nie my skuld nie, my seels genoot praat hierdie taal. Girl, you're gonna struggle to find him. Ja, dis wat ek ook gedink het. Kom, ons moet klaas toe. Giselle, can you give me the answer to number 7? Um, ja, ek het gekry 69. I'm afraid I don't understand. By the way, class, we're getting a new student today. He's an exchange student from South Africa, so please be nice. Giselle, can you give me the answer to number 7? Um, ja, ek het gekry 69. I'm afraid I don't understand. By the way, class, we're getting a new student today. He's an exchange student from South Africa, so please be nice. Girl, did you see the new guy? Isn't he so cute? Jo, ek het. En weet jy van waarof is hy? Ja, he's from South Africa. En wat praat hulle in Suid-Afrika? They speak Afrikaans. Wait, that means he's your... Yep. En ons het een wenner. Giselle, this literally means the new kid is your soulmate. Ja, jy het uiteindelijk twee en twee by mekaar gesit. You have to go talk to him. Is jy mal? Ek gaan nie met hom praat nie, ek is te sien of jy achtig. You're gonna have to get over it because he's on his way here. Hey, um, I'm Michael. Giselle, this literally means the new kid is your soulmate. Ja, jy het uiteindelijk twee en twee by mekaar gesit. You have to go talk to him. Is jy mal? Ek gaan nie met hom praat nie, ek is te sien of jy achtig. Well, you're gonna have to get over it because he's on his way here. Hey, I'm Michael. And you are? Oh, you can't speak? No, she can't. No, apparently she can't. Girl, I can't believe you just did that. Wat anders moes ek doen? Ek is te bang om met hom te praat. Well, if you don't talk to him, you're never gonna be able to speak English again. Jo, ek weet. If you don't go talk to him today, I'm gonna tell him you were lying. Alright, alright. Ek sal met hom praat. Good choice. Hallo, um, jy het gesê jou naam is Michael? Wait, you're speaking Afrikaans? That means you're my... Hallo, um, jy het gesê jou naam is Michael? Wait, you're speaking Afrikaans. That must mean you're my... Jou sielsgenoot? Exactly, but... Why are you still speaking Afrikaans and I'm still speaking English? Nou dat jy dit noem, ja, dit is nogals vreemd. Ek wonder hoekom praat ek nog steeds Afrikaans en jy nog steeds Engels. I don't know, but it's really weird. Ek gaan gaan probeer uitvind. Jessica, kan ek gaan met jou praat? Ja, girl, what's up? Ok, ek het met Michael gepraat, maar ek praat nog steeds Afrikaans. Giselle, that just means he's not your soulmate. Wie anders is dit dan? Ek ken niemand anders wat Afrikaans is nie. Did you know that Michael has a brother? Wacht, wat? Het hy een boete? Ja, I just met him this morning. Jessica, kan ek gaan met jou praat? Ja, girl, what's up? Ok, so, ek het met Michael gepraat, maar ek praat nog steeds Afrikaans. Giselle, that just means he's not your soulmate. Wel, as dit nie hy is nie, wie is dit dan? Ek ken niemand anders wat Afrikaans praat nie. Well, did you know Michael has a brother? Wacht, wat? Het hy een boete? Ja, I just met him this morning. Denk jy, dis talk hy? There's one way you could find out. Ok, waar kan ek hom kry? I think he's in the cafeteria. Ok, ek gaan met hom gaan praat. Giselle, there you are. I've been looking for you. Michael, hallo. Um, ek soek eindelijk jou boete. Ek moet met hom praat. Why do you want to speak with my brother? Ek wil jou nie seermaak nie, maar ek dink jou boete is dalk my sielsgenoot. That's impossible, it's me. 
Hey, I'm Jake. I'm Michael's brother. Hi, I'm Giselle. I'm gummy, gummy, gummy. Stop playing. Gummy. Playing is against the law. You're lucky no one saw you, or else you would have been killed. Catch! Let's play. We're not allowed. We'll get killed. That's only if they see us. No one's around. Okay. Catch! Catch! <laughs> Catch! Catch! Were you girls playing? No, I wasn't. It was just her throwing the ball. I wasn't playing. No, she was playing too. No, I wasn't. No, Poppy, you're not allowed to play. No playing. Why do you have a ball? No, Poppy, you're not allowed to play. No playing. Why do you have a ball? Were you playing? I wasn't playing. I was just teaching the puppy not to play. Good work, kid. I'll kill the dog. No! Brianna, we're all gonna hang out after school. Are you coming? A hangout? Are you crazy? Relax. We're all just going to talk and study. There's going to be no games or playing. Okay. Hey, we should all play spin the bottle. No. I thought we were just going to study. We're not allowed to play. What are you, scared? Are you a chicken? No, I just don't want to die. All right, I'll go first. I can't believe you're actually doing this. Look at that. The bottle landed on you. That is not happening. Were you playing a game? No, I wasn't. It was Brianna's idea. Speech? What's this? It's a new thing started by the government. You're given a certain amount of words a day, and you must use all of them, or else. Well, I only have 18 words today. That shouldn't be hard to use. Brianna, how many words do you need to use today? 18. Wow, you're so lucky. I got 5,000 words I have to use today, so I have to talk super fast, and I have to use lots and lots of words. Talk, 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 talk. I can't stop talking, can't stop talking. The day is almost done. Did you use all your words? Yes. These are my last words, too. Oh, no, 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 no. Honey, what's wrong? I got 100,000 words to use today. How can I use all those words? You'll have to try your best. Understand. I only had 55 words, now I have so many. What's wrong with your voice? I lost my voice talking so much yesterday. I won't be able to use all my words. No, no, you can do it. You can. I can hardly talk. I want to switch my words back. Hello? The government? Are you there? God? Christy, keep on trying to talk. The day is not over yet. I... I can't. Christy, I'm so sorry. I love you. It's okay. It's not your fault. I heard from your best friend's mom she passed away. She couldn't use all her words. Are you okay? Yeah. I'll be okay. Ooh. Happy birthday! Ready to find out your sweetheart? What's a sweetheart? It's your soulmate. It's who you're gonna love forever. <gasps> Prince Licorice? What's wrong? Nothing, Lolly. We'll handle everything. Don't worry. Please, can I meet him? No, Lord Licorice is a very evil man, and I'm sure his son is no better. Exactly. But he's my sweetheart. Nope. The system must have made a mistake. Well, hello, my dear. Who are you? You don't know who I am? You really don't get out much, do you? My parents never let me leave the castle. I see. Well, I'm actually a friend of your father's, and I've brought you a gift. Is this happy? Why, yes. This is my favorite. Try it. Good, isn't it? What's the matter? Mm. Too sticky? Sorry, princess, but I can't have you alerting the guards. I'm going to bring you to meet my son. Son, look who I've brought you. Is that? King Candy's daughter? Yes, indeed. Why are her hands tied? She's very feisty, but I'm sure she's happy to see you. Are you? Mm. Mm. Oh, she can't talk. I gave her the sticky taffy. Dad, there, now you're free. 
Drink this. It'll dissolve the taff. It'll take a few seconds to work. Thanks. I'll give you two some alone time. It's really nice to meet you, Lolly. My name is Prince Licorice, but you can call me Luke. Well, I want to go home, Luke. Please stay. I want to get to know you. No, your dad creeps me out, and I don't think I can trust you guys. Lolly, I'm not like my dad, I swear. No, I want to go home, and that's an order. Fine, as you wish. Listen, it's going to be a long journey for you. You're not going to escort me back? No way. My dad would freak. So I have to walk through Candyland all alone? Forget it. I don't need you. I can handle myself. Candyland is a very dangerous place, especially for a dainty princess like you. I am not dainty. Well, you sure are stubborn. Goodbye, Luke. Hey, we're supposed to be together. You're my sweetheart. Well, having me kidnapped wasn't very sweet. That wasn't my idea. Whatever. Just go. I don't even care anymore. Ugh. What is this stuff? Chocolate swamp? Uh-oh. Oh, this stuff is like quicksand. What do I do? Wait, I think my lollipop still has a little bit of magic in it, so maybe I can turn this into hard chocolate instead. <gasps> it's working. What are you doing in my swamp? Um, I was just leaving, sir. Hey! What is this place? Princess? Are you lost? Yeah, a little bit. Oh no, here, have some cotton candy. Thank you. This is so good. Glad you like it. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Perfect. You should spend the night here. Okay. <laughs> the king is going to pay a lot of money to get you back. Here, have some more. Let her go. Prince Licorice, what are you doing here? I'm saving her from you. That's my sweetheart. Isn't he handsome? Hand her over, or else... You think I'm handsome? How could I not think you're handsome? Just look at how big your muscles are. <laughs> how much cotton candy did you have? A lot. I'm sorry, Prince Licorice. I didn't realize she was your sweetheart. Please don't tell your father I did this. We won't have a problem as long as you let us leave. Let's go, Lolly. Bye. How you doing? Better. I didn't realize that the cotton candy made you loopy. Listen, I'm sorry for getting mad at you. You really didn't do anything wrong. Nah, you're good. I'm sorry, too. So you think I have big muscles, huh? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> we should start walking back. There she is! Seize him! Arrest him, now! Get off of me! He didn't do anything wrong. Get her to safety. Luke! Mom, Dad, you have to let him go. He was an accomplice to your kidnapping. Even though he's your sweetheart, he has to pay a price for that. No, he was the one that rescued me. What? He did? Yes, I've been trying to tell you. He was the one who saved me from the cotton candy fairy. Honey, we need to release him. Lord Licorice took my daughter. I say we keep his son. Dad, that isn't the way. She's right. You two need to make amends. Thanks for getting me released. Of course. It's the least I can do. I'm really happy our parents are getting along now. I'm so glad, too. I need to ask you something. Lolly, will you make me the happiest man in Candyland and marry me? Yes. Everyone, we're engaged. Aw, oh, congrats, sweetheart. Just look at that ring. Congratulations. Lolly, I couldn't have asked for a better soulmate. Mm -hmm. Hmm, who are your parents? Well, my parents are... Wait, dear. Actually, allow me. Bippity boppity boo. Daughter of Rapunzel and Flynn. Um, actually, it's Eugene. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. You'll be needing this now. What is that? Dear, this is a high school for good and evil. This is how we track your behavior. Oh. You better get to class. Hi, I'm Ruby, daughter of Snow White. It's nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Amelia, daughter of Rapunzel. Oh, I'm a big fan of your father. Could you help me hold my books? Of course. Thank you. Hey, so question, who are all those guys over there? Amelia, those are the villain kids. Don't make eye contact. Would your hair happen to be magic, love? Oh, feisty. I'm sorry, love. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> What's the matter? Did you figure out who my father is? Why did my scale move towards evil? Maybe because you have a crush on a villain's son. Why did my scale just move towards evil? Maybe you have a crush on a villain's son. Who are you the son of? Why don't you take a wild guess, love? You're the son of Captain Hook? Indeed. I shouldn't be talking to you. This is Amelia. Oh, hi, I'm Freya, daughter of Kristoff and Anna. You have magic hair, don't you? Don't tell anyone else. 
Sorry, of course not. I won't. Amelia, your scale. Were you talking to the villain kids? Can you blame her? They are so fine. Freya, this is serious. I heard someone wants to steal her hair. You can't trust the villain kids. Don't talk to them. Okay, I won't. Well, well. If it isn't Rapunzel's daughter. Stop it. You stay away from me and my hair. Take it easy, love. I was just going to ask you to come to the spring ball with me. I'm already going to the ball with someone else. And who might that be? It's, um... It's me. I'm Thomas, son of Sleeping Beauty. I'm the son of Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Really, I didn't think they had a son. Well, obviously, they do. So if you'll excuse us, pirate, we're going to the ball. I'm really glad we met. Me too. Your hair is beautiful. You look just like your mom. Thanks. Is something wrong, Amelia? What's the matter? Well, it's just, I thought my scale would move more towards good since I've been hanging out with you for so long. Come here, let me tell you a secret. I'm not actually a prince. <laughs> let me go, you jerk! Who are you the son of anyway? I'm the son of the villain Hans, and I need you to sing me the song that activates your powers. I should have known by the red hair, and I am not singing you that song. Okay, don't sing and I cut off all your hair. No! <laughs> Why do you need my healing powers? Because Elsa's daughter froze my heart, and only your powers can heal it. I don't have much time, so start singing. Go on, sing. You should know that my hair's magic isn't as strong as my mother's. It doesn't matter. Now say the words. I'm running out of time. Make the clock reverse. What the? Step away from the princess. Pirate. Jack. Hello, love. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's called winning, mate. Hey! Is that Snow White boxes you have on? Shut up. Oh. Oh. Just wait until my parents find out what you did. I owe you an apology. My scale was not moving towards evil because you were evil. It was moving towards evil because I was judging you based on who your parents were. I'm sorry. It's alright, love. My father, Captain Hook, does have quite the bad reputation. I'm just glad that you're safe. Hey. You're bleeding. It's just a scrape. Must have happened on my climb over here. Well, I do have magic hair that heals, so why don't I just sing the song? Well, wait just a minute, love. Because I reckon your lips are going to be a bit busy. Grandma, what is that above my head? Those are all your childhood memories, dear. And it looks like you've already made quite a lot of them. Well, that's good, because I want to remember all the fun things I did with you. Oh, Annalise, you are so sweet. <laughs> There is a fire in the castle. We need to get you both out now. Grandma, I'm scared. I don't want to lose you like I lost my parents. Don't worry, dear. We'll be alright. My queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsing. No! You left your clothes on the floor. Sorry, I just... They pay me to foster you, not to be your maid. Didn't anyone ever teach you to clean up after yourself? Well, you know, even if someone did, I really wouldn't have remembered because I lost all my childhood memories. Yeah, yeah, enough with your sob story. Just clean up. Excuse me, sir. Do you know why there's a bunch of flowers everywhere? Oh, yeah. Those are for the princess. Everyone leaves those for her. Today marks the fifth year of her passing. It's awful what happened to her. Hey, are you okay? I think I just had a memory of me being a princess. Sorry, I know that sounds crazy. A princess? Wait, did something happen to your memories? Yeah, actually, when I was younger, some sort of accident happened to me. I don't remember what, but the doctor told me that I have amnesia. Some people still think the princess is still alive. They do? Yeah, and actually, I'm one of those people. You know, I could take you to the queen if you really think you're the princess. No, that's okay. Uh, I really should be going. At least take my number. If any more of your memories come back, call me. I can't believe that guy thought that I was a princess. Quiet, my queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsed! No! Grandma? She left me. Uh, my head. Hey, I got your voicemail. You got another memory? I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. The thing is, they won't just let anyone into the castle. We have to convince them that you're royalty. But how would I do that? I have an idea. Come on, we're going shopping. Are you sure this outfit isn't too much? No, I think it's perfect. It shows the queen that you know how to dress like a princess. If you say so. Wait here. The queen will see you in just a moment. Hey, it's gonna be alright. She'll remember you. Grandma, I thought I'd never- See me again. I've heard it all before. 
Tell me something that only my Annalise would know. Well, I can't exactly do that because a lot of my memories got lost, but I remember you. Stop. My heart can't take this anymore. She's just another girl pretending to be my granddaughter. Take her away. No, please. I came all this way to see you. I'm sure I can remember something. Let's go. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Let her go. I need to get something to show her. This was one of the few things that survived the fire. I had it restored. I bought it as a gift for my granddaughter. You couldn't have known about that unless... It's me, Grandma. Oh, Annalise, it is you. I recognize your eyes. I'm so sorry. I begged the gods to go look for you. It's okay. How are you alive? What happened? I can barely remember. Sweetheart, can you remember anything about what happened to you? What your name is? What your parents' names are? I don't remember anything. We have the code red. So you survived the fire and woke up in a hospital with amnesia. I am so sorry, but what's important is we're together now. Grandma, I actually wouldn't have been able to find you if it wasn't for him. Oh, really? What is your name? My name is Eric, Your Majesty. I can't thank you enough, Eric. Why aren't you a handsome young man? Ah, uh, thanks. It is my honor to restore my granddaughter's title of Princess Annalise. Long live the princess. Please choose the nice outfit. Are you kidding me? It's picture day. All right, Brianna, come up. You're next. No. Get ready to smile for your picture in three, two, one. Are you ready for the test? Of course. I literally studied all night long. You better let me write this test. Jerk. Miss, I have to leave. I can't write my test. I'm sorry. Why did you leave during the test? You said you were prepared. This is so humiliating! <laughs> Jake, why are you laughing so much? I just made my soulmate have the worst day of her life. Really? Yeah, I ruined her picture day, made her miss her test, and then I absolutely humiliated her. Well, you look scary. You. Today it's my turn to make the choices. Revenge is gonna be sweet. Oh, would you look at that? Looks like someone's missing basketball practice. You're the worst. You knew I had basketball practice. And you knew I had picture day. No, 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 please. I have to go to that class. I'm so close to failing. Yeah, and I really needed to write the test yesterday, too, so... Here, I bought you some cookies. Aw, you're bribing me. Uh, no, I'm just a nice guy. Well, you're lucky. Unlike you, I'm actually a good person. Woo, you can do this, Jake! Woo! We won! I know! The other team, they didn't stand a single chance against you guys! Thanks for letting me play. I hope you can forgive me for being such a jerk. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, sweetheart. Here. I made you lunch. You always know just how to brighten someone's day. Hey, Mrs. K, that necklace looks absolutely stunning on you. Really? It does? My bully? No way! She doesn't deserve it! What are you wearing? <laughs> I know, it's so funny, right? I mean, like, what am I wearing? What am I wearing? You're acting strange. Hey, wanna know something so crazy? I've never actually seen you smile. Why don't you show me those pearly white? <laughs> Okay! Hey, so I'm actually doing a survey for a class. I just need you to write down all the things that make you happy. I know what you're doing. You're trying to make me smile. It's not gonna work. I haven't smiled one day in my entire life. There has to be something that makes you smile. No, nothing. All I see is darkness and the world crumbling around me. That's dark. I know! Let's go to that garden you like so much. You know, the one with all the... Decaying flowers? Yes, that place is nice. It stinks here! That would be all the rotting plants. This place makes you happy? Yes, I like it. The decaying flowers is like a metaphor for my life. Then why aren't you smiling? I'm so glad to be out of there. I can finally breathe again. Hey, has anyone ever told you how pretty you are? Flattery will get you nowhere. What am I gonna do? If I can't make you smile by the end of the week, my life is... 
over. Okay, I'll smile if it means you're gonna leave me alone. Yes, please. No. That's not a smile. Yes, it is. That's creepy. It's okay. I won't give up. Come with me. You're going to smile. I found a list of jokes on the internet and I'm going to recite them to you until you smile. Why couldn't the pony sing a lullaby? Because he was a little horse. You have the humor of a brick wall. Once you see how pretty you look in this makeup, you're going to smile for sure. Don't put pink stuff on me. Okay, you're done then. Look in the mirror. Oh, what did you do to my face? Put this on. It's totally going to go with your makeup. No. What? Why? You don't like this sweater? It's literally my favorite one. I'm not interested in any of these things. You're only doing the things you like, and I'm nothing like you. You just like basically everything. I don't know what to do anymore. I give up. You're never going to smile. Oh! <laughs> you just ran into the door. Hey, Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess, I can't. Why not? My mom says I have an arranged marriage to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's Day? <laughs> princess Elizabeth, quiet. It's not what it looks like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was with you, princess. I'm just gonna go. Elizabeth, you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. No more dating. What? I'm sorry, but you don't have a good taste in men. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, meet your husband-to-be, Prince Darren. Hello. Mwah. She's beautiful. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Oh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. This is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you... You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please. Get her. Please take it. This is my last heart. And if it breaks, something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, princess. Get her. Run. But what about... Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, your majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth. Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, mother. I didn't ask. Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, your highness. You can play all the games you want, princess. I will marry you, and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not going to find him. We shall see. Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, princess. I'm sorry. Where is the princess's heart? Well, that's the thing, Prince Darren. You may have caught me, but you'll never find where I hid the princess's heart. How dare you hide my daughter's heart? My queen, I say we send him to the torture chamber. No. It's the only way to get him to talk. Mother, please. Elizabeth, Prince Darren is right. He still won't talk. We only got his name, William. Ugh. Mother, let me speak to him, please. He will tell me where my heart is. Oh my goodness, what have they done to you? I promise to keep your heart safe, and I don't break my promises. I can't let you suffer for me. But the prince that you're supposed to marry, I can tell. He is evil. I know, William. But that's my problem, not yours. Where's my heart? Finally, her heart is where it belongs. All right, Mother, Prince Darren has my heart. Now let William go. No, dear. I'm afraid I can't do that. William is going to be killed. William is going to be killed for stealing your heart and hiding it. It must be done. I told him to do it. Oh, Elizabeth, you're just trying to protect him, I know. It was such a tough decision, Princess. May I speak to her alone? Of course, Darren. Don't be so sad. Get away from me. <laughs> we shall be married tomorrow.
I will never marry you. Oh, but you will. That is, if you want William to live. Marry me tomorrow, and I'll convince your mother to let him live. And if you try anything, I will break your last heart. Do you understand? Do you accept Prince Darren as your husband? I do. Excellent. Now may I kiss the bride. Stop! That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. It's true, mother. He's been threatening me. What? I warned you not to speak against no. me. Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because it was my last heart, not yours. William! Stop! Stop the wedding. That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. No, it's true, mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me. No! Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because that was my last heart, oh, not yours. William, his last heart, it's broken. What happens when your last heart breaks? I'm pretty sure you... You die. <laughs> How could you? Mom, there has to be something that we can do for him. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Just be happy that wasn't your heart. Arrest him. Get off of me. You should be arresting him. He took her real heart. My heart? I can give him my heart. William, where did you put my real heart? I... <sighs> William? Elizabeth? Don't speak to me. Darling, they found it. The gods found your heart. My heart? Do you think it'll work if I give it to him? I'm not sure, dear, but it's worth a try. William, I want to give you my last heart. Please wake up. Heart oh. share. <gasps> William! Elizabeth! Your mother knew you so well. That dress looks perfect on you, honey. You look like a real-life princess. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Of course. You ready to go? Can't believe you and Rebecca are tied. Well, I'd like to change that. The name's Brock. May I kiss you? Um... Go ahead, Sid. It's time you put Rebecca in her place. Peter, I made it to 90%. No way. You're the most popular girl in school now. <laughs> Listen, I've actually been meaning to tell you. And the winner for prom queen goes to... Miss Sydney White. Yo, Sydney! Oh my gosh, she's my friend. Sydney, Sydney! First she becomes more popular than me and now she's prom queen? It's time for plan B. I need your help. You remember how Cindy's allergic to apples? Yeah, uh-huh. Well, I have a job for you. Stand there for your picture. Mind if we take it without the gems? Smile. Congrats, Cindy. She looks so pretty. Sid, Rebecca's super upset that you took her title. You better be careful. Wait, do you know where Peter... went? Heard you're looking for Peter. Yeah, have you seen him? Actually, yes. Let me show you where he is. Lucas, Peter isn't here. Yeah, I know. I... I lied, okay? What? Why would you... Because I wanted to get you alone so you and I could, you know, kiss and you can get up to 100%. No, I don't care about my popularity score anymore. But Sydney, once you hit 100%, you meet your soulmate. You can meet him tonight. Do you really think so? I know so. That's the law. One kiss is all it takes. Ugh! Lucas, did you have something on your lips? Just chapstick. All natural apple chaps. Apples? I'm allergic to I know. Miss Cindy White? Yes, it's me. Hi, welcome to Castle High. Your popularity score will now appear above your head. Don't ask me how to make it go up. It's a Do you have any dietary restrictions or allergies? Yes, I'm actually highly allergic to apples. Noted. All right, get to class. Here is your name tag. Oh, look. It's the most unpopular girl in school. How did you get yours up to 70%? <laughs> Oh, Sydney, you're so pathetic. Want I come to my party? Uh, yeah. Sweet, I'll airdrop you the address. Okay. Sid, we're playing truth or dare. Pick one. Dare. Okay, we dare you to kiss Peter. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> it's just for fun. Come on, we're waiting. Okay, okay. Oh. She's so dead. Your popularity went up. Congrats. Don't congratulate her. She only has 10%, and she needs 100% to meet her soulmate. And we all know that's not gonna happen. Don't listen to what Rebecca says to you. She's a nobody. Peter, she's literally the most popular girl in school. I know, but not for long. We have a plan. 
Who's we? Me and seven of my other basketball teammates. Meet us at the boys' locker room during lunch. Peter, I really shouldn't be in here. <laughs> Sid, it's all good. Let me go get the team. Guys, this is Sydney. Hey! Yo, Sydney! Hey. You guys want to raise my popularity score? Yes, ma'am. We think you're kind of cute and way nicer than Rebecca. And since you got 10% right now, if you kiss all of us, you're gonna go up to 80. Making you more popular than Rebecca Queen. I don't know about this. Come on, Sydney. We're sick of Rebecca thinking she's better than everyone. Hey, Siri. Who's the most popular girl in Castle High? You. But not for long. Who's the second most popular? Sydney. White. What? Yo, just one more kiss. She did it. I made it to 80%. Yep, I can't wait to see Rebecca's face. Yo, Peter, you're right. She was a good kisser. You said that? Oh, <laughs> I know. I... Somebody's got a crush. Oh. Oh. Jason, shut up. Not you all exposing Peter. <laughs> hey, Sydney. I see you raised your percentage. Well, so did I. Looks like we're tied. Sid, you better watch your back. Why? Because Rebecca's totally obsessed with being the most popular. And if you come for her title, the girl should <laughs> come for you. Sydney, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, Peter. Hi, I wanted to ask you if you, um, if you wanted to go to prom with me. Sure, I'd love to. Sweet, I'll, uh, I'll pick you up at eight. Dad, I need a prom dress. Actually, sweetheart, your mother left you something for this day. She always thought of everything. Let me show you. Happy birthday, sweetie. Thank you, Grandpa. Honey, wait. You'll have to wait until you're 18 to open it. But why can't I open it now? Because this is a special gift. You have to wait, okay? Happy 12th birthday, sweetie. Thanks, Grandpa. Can I open my gift now? No, I tell you every year. You have to wait until you turn 18 to open it, okay? Okay. Happy 15th birthday. Thank you. Guess what? What? Only three years left and then you get to open your gift. Um, yeah, I guess. Giselle, you're 18 tomorrow. You'll finally be able to open your gift. Are you excited? I don't know. I mean, I've been waiting for so long. I don't even know if I want to open it. You have to, and you need to let me know what it is as soon as you open it. Yeah, I will. Happy 18th birthday, honey. You get to open it. Grandpa, what is this? Happy 18th birthday. You can open it now. Grandpa, what is this? Sweetie, I don't feel so good. Grandpa, are you okay? Just go call an ambulance, please. Hi, yes, 911. It's my grandpa. We'll be there as fast as we can. Just sit tight. Excuse me, miss, are you Giselle? Hi, um, yes, my grandpa, is he gonna be okay? I'm so sorry, sweetie. We did everything we could. He's gone. I'm really sorry about your grandpa. Thanks. At least you got to open your gift with him. My gift? Yeah. So, what was it? I don't really know. It's a note. Well, if it was a note, I really think you should go read it. What? It's just a phone number. Hey, um, Becky? Did you end up opening the gift? Yeah, I did. What was it? It's just a phone number. A phone number? Yeah. I don't get it. Why would my grandpa make me wait until I turn 18 to open up a phone number? Are you gonna call it? No, are you crazy? I don't know who's gonna pick up. Giselle, I really think you should call it. You know what? I think I'm gonna call it. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Who is this? Um, this is Giselle. Where did you get this number? My grandpa gave it to me. I need you to meet me at this address, and I need you to come alone. Okay. The person gave me an address. Good morning, honey. Good morning, mom. What's this? Oh, that's the percentage of how much someone loves you. Wait, so you love me 100%? Of course I do, honey. You're my daughter. Hey, bestie. 
Hey Jess. You only love me 10%? You're supposed to be my best friend. What do you mean? Of course I love you more than that. I can't believe you. Hey, babe. Hey, Jake. Gee, if your love for me is that low, why are you dating me? What are you talking about? You know what? I don't even care. It's over. There you are. Can we talk? Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom lied to you. That's not how much someone loves you. It's how much they hate you. Giselle, there you are. Can we talk? <laughs> Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom lied to you. It's not how much someone loves you. It's how much they hate you. You're making that up. My mom would never lie to me. No, I'm telling you the truth. Okay, look. I don't understand. Why would she lie? I have no idea, but I promise you I was telling the truth. I'm gonna go talk to her. I'll call you later. Mom? Honey, you're home. Can I talk to you for a second? Yes, of course. About what? Is it true that you lied to me about the percentage? No, I would never lie to you. So you're telling me that that is not a hate percentage, that's a love percentage? Okay, yes. I lied to you. Why would you lie to me? I broke up with my boyfriend and I almost lost my best friend. Well, why do you think mine is on 100%? I can't believe you're failing math. What is this? You are an absolute foul daughter, an embarrassment to the sick. I've had enough of that. So class, when one plus one equals four, you multiply by six and carry the A to the B. I need a nap to process this information. You know, it wouldn't hurt to have a look around. What's this? This is all of the answers. How did you do so well in math today? I guess you could say I am a math wizard. You are literally terrible at math. Hold that thought. Kevin's coming. Hey, why'd you pause it? How can you? I saw what you did in math today. What? How did you see me steal the answers? I was paused. And how are you talking to me right now? I'm paused. I don't know how or why, but I have the same ability as you. Also, I need those answers for math. What? No, I'm failing. I have a picture of you stealing the book. Give it to me or I'm going to report you. Fine. Where did Kevin go? He was just here. Kevin's stupid and I don't like him anymore. Kevin. Kevin! So, Kevin, I thought maybe if you wanted to be a nice guy, we could share the answers. Of course we can. For $50. Deal. Homework is all done. Code red, code red. There is an unknown stranger in the Protect us from what? There's people after you two. The ability you were given is very rare. Only a handful of people have it. They want to use you. What? Well, I'm allergic to cats, so guess I'll have to have a twin of myself. Hi. Hi, can I come in? Yeah, come on in. My mom wants me to go do the dishes. I'll be right back, okay? No, no, I can do them for you. For real? Totally, your mom will just think I'm you. Just stay here and I'll be right back. Okay, well, thanks. Maybe having a twin isn't so bad. Bye, babe. Talk to you later. Is that your boyfriend? Yeah. Can I see a picture of him? Uh, yeah, sure. Here, this is him. Oh, he's so cute. I know, right? Damn it. What's wrong? I just realized I have a history test today. I didn't even study. Oh, I could take it for you. I'm great at history. Wait, you are? 
Yeah, I totally got this. I'm just like you, you know, but I'm just a little bit smarter. How'd it go? Well, I got you a 100%. No way. Yep, but I gotta go. I'm gonna go meet your friend Amy and we're gonna go get her nails done. Wait, what? Is something wrong? Well, it's just Amy's my best friend. Oh, I know, but she thinks that I'm you. And I just thought since I took your test, I could have some time to relax. But if you don't want me to go... No, go ahead. You deserve a break. Hey, sorry I took so long. We went out to dinner after. You did? Yeah, Amy is such a sweetheart. Yeah, she really is. Oh, where are you off to dress all fancy like that? I am going on a little date with Ian. You sure you don't need me to take your place? No, that's okay. I'm just kidding with you. Go have fun. Hey girl, how'd it go? It was so nice. He... Why are you looking at my laptop? Oh, I was just looking at some pictures of you and your boyfriend, and I was reading through your diary. I did not know you struggled with anxiety. Hey, that's private. I just thought since I'm your twin, I should know more about you. Get out of my room. After all I did for her, and she's gonna yell at me like that? I don't think so. I just want to say I'm sorry for looking at your laptop. I shouldn't have done that. Don't even worry about it. I shouldn't have got so upset at you either. It's totally fine. I forgive you. Are you going on another date? Yeah, Ian's gonna take me to go see a movie. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love that for you guys. Hey, um, I grabbed this out of the fridge. I didn't really like it. Do you want it? Actually, this one's my favorite, so thanks. You ready to go? Whoa. Oh, what's wrong? I don't know, my head just feels really weird. Oh, honey, you need to lay down. That's it. Just bring up. Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Perfect. I'm doing your boyfriend a favor. He's gonna have so much more fun with me than he would have with you. <sighs> she stole my phone and she locked all the doors. I knew I should have gotten that cat. Hey there, sleepyhead. Did you enjoy your little nap? Where's Ian? Oh, he just left. We had an amazing time. He even said that I'm a great kisser. You kissed him? Well, more like he kissed me, but... <laughs> you really should have done that. Give me back my phone. No, I don't think I will. Remember when I told you that I was smarter than you? Well, guess what? I'm also stronger than you, too. So which dress do you think Ian will like better? This one? Or, hold on, do you think he'll like this one better? I think you're right. I think he's going to like the first one better. Well, thanks for the help, but um, you probably won't last too much longer in here. I found out in your diary that you're hypoglycemic. 